the Irish Football Fan TV today. I'm delighted to be joined by none other than Republic of Ireland international manager Mick McCarthy. And you're obviously here. Uh, the FAI have announced a new partnership with Sport Pisa, which is a, I think, sure I get it right here now, a global and technology entertainment company. So, um, well, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. You obviously announced yeah, your squad. You're here. I think you meet the squad on Sunday, is it? I do, yes. How, how, how much are you looking forward to that? It must be hard, I've not met them at all yet and having to pick and you know come to games, you've been to League of Ireland games as well, back and forth. How have you been finding the build up? It's unusual, let's, let's put it that way. So I've been in job four months now, they're telling me, and uh, spoken to the players but only on the phone. Uh, some of them I don't think I've, I've met, but they've played against my teams, you know, so I've seen them play, they know my teams, they know how, how I am. They'll have all had a chat around, don't worry, see what I'm like, players who have played for me. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, can't wait now, because all, uh, all this preamble, that's just what it is, and it's the games that count, the games that matter. Yeah, um, it must be great, obviously. You've had some fantastic memories here uh, in the Viva, obviously Lansdowne Road it was now and then, but we're coming, we obviously, we're not, I'm not looking past uh, Gibraltar, but I'm just saying from uh, a home standpoint, how vital it will be now, you haven't been doing that great in the last year in terms of results, but how important are the crowd going to be against Georgia? to get the atmosphere back that it was beforehand. Well, I, I'm glad you uh, checked yourself. I was going to pull you up on the my happy memories here because it was Lansdowne Road. And uh, if if I could have a record here, like I had in competitive games, I'd be thrilled. So, I mean, I, I lost one competitive game, I believe, which was Switzerland, my very last game at Lansdowne Road. Hacking, yakking. <laughs> Yes, and uh, so if I could replicate that in terms of competitive football matches and results, it'd be brilliant. But we, you're right, you can't look beyond Gibraltar. We've got to go and make sure we go and win there. So I'd like to be stood here with three points in my pocket and looking forward to a, a game that we've gone and played in Gibraltar. We've, we've got to go and play well, we've got to go and win if we're going to be progressing in the, and to have that for us to be competing here in the European Championships. And you asked me about the fans. Our fans have been brilliant. I've been, you know, from whenever I've travelled, but certainly from 88 onwards when we first qualified for a competition, they have been the best fans. Travelled in numbers, the best humour, the best supporters. And uh, I'd love to be seeing it here on, on the 26th. Yeah, um, you know, obviously it kind of touched on the, the humour and stuff like that, you know, looking at, I'm sure you've seen from the Euros to, you know, seeing on, on trains to people and, and whatever, the entertainment value. Your job essentially will join, be trying to get us to the Euros, but um, in, in, in regards to, you've, you've picked your squad today and, you know, we had a real lack of, of goals. You've, you've picked, I think it's five strikers you have in the squad. Or is it four? Four. Four, sorry. James Cullen. Oh, because Ronan pulled out, sorry. Ah, uh, well, Ronan's, Ronan's a wide left. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a left of a three place for Portsmouth. I know he's been a striker, but he's been scoring goals and he looks, you know, he's missing out now. I think he's, I think he's got eight goals this year. Yeah, and he's been in a fantastic form. Yeah, and I've lost Alan Brown, who scored 12 goals, and I've been at, <laughs> I've been at pains to keep mentioning them. When asked by the journalists, you know, who's going to score your goals? Well, Alan Brown's got 12 and Ronan's got 8. Well, there's 20 of them gone already. But, you know, we've still got Sean Maguire and we've still got David McGoldrick and Conor Horan got a couple there at the, uh, the weekend. Callum O'Dowd has scored a few. Uh, and we can always rely on the defenders to go for a free kick in a corner. And big, uh, big Shane's always good for a goal. Absolutely. Um, just in regards to... to how you're going to maybe set up without giving too much away a via formation and kind of a, an 11 in your head that you, you're going to go to Gibraltar with without giving too much away or well, I tried not to uh, for, for, for reasons that will become even clearer still now when I've lost two players who I was really considering in terms of a starting place for both of them but you know I can keep mulling that around it's only when they come in on on Sunday Monday when I'll be training on Monday and uh, see who's 
fit with any problems from the weekend that I can really nail down a start in 11. I think that makes it more difficult as well as the fact that you know anything can happen this weekend any player could just turn up with something and he's out then and your job is then left harder obviously and vice versa I suppose for club managers and you've been there yourself where a player goes on international duty and he comes back and he's out for a couple of weeks so yeah. again that that makes your job a hell of a lot harder as well. It does, uh, that's what I'm saying so I, I've had thoughts over the last four months going and watching players and think of what I might do and what uh, how we'll set up and how we'll do it and then you lose something somebody else does and it, it's, it's impossible to make it we can't make a final plan till they all come in as you just said and it works both ways we send players home injured and they can't play for the clubs but it really is disappointing when it's when it's the, when it's the first squad and <clears throat> Certainly looking forward to working with the two lads who are playing well for their clubs this year, having great seasons. So it's sad for them as well. Yeah, um, you're always talking about players having uh, you know, good seasons. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation. I know you've been asked a, a fair few times yourself about you know, Fit and Seamus and, and Matt in the, same, in the same squad. Is that something you've thought about? Well, I've answered that time before, saying that uh, can you play both right backs? And I said, well, you know. Um, the Docks played at left back for a season at Wolves, but Ender Stevens has been outstanding this year. So it's nice to have that flexibility. And I'm going to have to pick one right back and then talk about the one I don't pick, because that's that be the question always. Why? And ultimately, it'll just be my personal preference. Yeah, at least uh, I suppose you can look at it. You've, you've players scoring down with David McGoldrick, Sean McGuire scoring goals, and at the back there's uh, uh, John Egan, Ender Stevens keeping clean sheets and stuff like that. Matt Doherty, Seamus had a great game against Liverpool there the other week. So I mean, there is there is players coming into form there. You've missed out on a couple, but just in terms of yourself now, how much are you looking forward to getting the first training session in? Well, it's nearly twelve months since I did a, a, a professional in training session in terms of in charge of a job I did one with Peter Taylor at Dagenham uh, in the summer but since then I've just not done it so it's what I enjoy doing best I'm really looking forward to it so roll on Monday the 18th yeah this is it well um, I just want to say thanks very much for your time pleasure uh, guys, if you're watching this, um, we're, I think we're at 39 subscribers from 5,000, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do so now. We'll even get Mick to subscribe. Uh, Mick, have you a message to the fans uh, coming into International Week at all? Well, I, look, all the teams that, that I played for, and, and, I, and I think teams that I managed, were, were ultra competitive and hard working and like to put teams under the cosh, and then, so teams didn't like playing against us. And I'd like to create another one, but that's going to be the case. Uh, and hope, well, no, no, that's that's what we're aiming for. The players we've got in, we want players. And there's been a lot of talk about players who, who, who are not going to play for us. Let's talk about the ones who are. Let's get the best out of them, and let's make sure that when we do that, we get results and we get the two games here in the European Championships in 2020. That's what we're aiming for. Well, hopefully by the end of this international break, we'll have six points from six. Thanks very much for your time and thanks very much for watching, guys.